Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we have been taking it from the topic of permutations and combinations. And we are continuing our series of questions on JWE Advanced. So today's question, we have taken it up from the year 2009. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, it tells us that we need to form seven digit integers and the options that are given to us are 1, 2 and 3. So we need to form 7 digit integers with 1, 2 and 3. But we have also been given a condition that says some of the digits that you are using out of 1, 2 and 3 to form a 7 digit integer, some of that should be equal to 10. So we need to find such 7 digit integers so some becomes 10. So let's try to find that how many integers I have in this case. And if I talk about the options that are given to us here, the first option given to us is 55, 66, 77, and the last option given to us is 88. So let's try to form the seven digit integers using one, two, and three here. Case one. When I have seven digits given to me, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So let's have 7 digits. So once I have the 7 digits with me, I can understand. To form the sum 10, I can have odd numbers in even places. So I can have here 1, 2, 3, 4. So this becomes 4. And then I can have here 1, 2. That makes it 6. Then 8. And then 10. So I understand here that I get this sum as 10 when three digits are even and four digits are one. That is odd. That gives me the sum as 10. Case two, if I try to observe. Case two, I can have here. Again, if I have seven digits here, if I try to place the odd numbers in the even places, because if I add odd plus odd, then only I get the even sum and I need the sum to become 10, that is even. So I can have odd numbers only at the even places. So I can have here a 2, I can have here a 3, 2 and 3 I can see that makes it 5. So I can have all of the other 5 digits as 1, 1, 1. So that also makes it 5. So again I have odd numbers in the even places. So in the 6 places I have odd numbers in the one remaining position you have an even number you get the sum as 10 here as well. Now if I have two threes I cannot have four ones because one dash would be left blank so I cannot have two or more threes I can only have one three that I have put already if I do not put a three I can have three twos and four ones so these are the only two possible cases I can see which where we get the sum as 10. So now let's try to find how many numbers I can form with seven digits out of which four are one and three are two. So I know I can arrange this seven numbers in seven places. So seven numbers can be arranged in a straight line in seven factorial ways. So total number of seven digit integers I can form with this is seven factorial. But I will also have to divide by the repetition that is occurring. So 1 is repeating 4 times, I'm dividing that by 4 factorial. 2 is repeating 3 times, I'll divide that by 3 times. We get this 7, 6, 5, 4 factorial, 4 factorial and 3, 2, 1. So this and this gets cancelled, 3 into 2, it gets cancelled. You're left with 7 into 5, which is 35. So I have 35 7 digit integers with this case. And let's try to understand how many here we have. So here I can see again seven numbers can be put into seven blanks in seven factorial ways. Here only one is getting repeated and that's five times. So I'll divide by five times. Two and three are not getting repeated. So seven into six into five factorial. So you get here 42 seven digit integers can be formed. So with the two cases that are only possible, 
I can form the total number of seven digit integers as 35 plus 45. That gives me 77 seven digit integers can be formed with one, two, and three such that sum of the digits is equal to. So C is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. I got the answer here as C. We just figured out the two cases where we get the sum is 10 and we just found out how many seven digit integers I can form. In the first case, I can form 35. In the second case, I can form 42 seven digit integers. So I get the total number of seven digit integers forming 77. So this is the answer for the question and it's options. I'll meet you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE Advanced. So stay tuned. Also do like and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in this preparation of JWE Advanced. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you. Thank you.